My name is Scott Patrick Dwyer. I'm 21 years old. I go to University of Illinois. So, Opa. I bought an old Power Mac G5, um, thinking it was going to be badass because it's big and it's in a metal case, but it actually sucked. So I sold it on, well, it's still for sale, um, on Craigslist. I got a couple like replies that didn't go anywhere, people are just like being flaky or whatever. Um, and then I randomly checked my spam folder and saw that I had an email from a Miss Svetlana. So I opened it up and immediately I said, Scott, I liked your Craigslist, as if it was like Facebook or something. And then she forewent any sort of talk about computers, told me all about herself, gave me her life story, and pretty much asked if I would like be her man. I think that was her exact phrasing. So uh, here's uh, Svetlana giving me like a head nod or something, showing me her nostrils. She looks okay. I'm not too sure on the whiteness of her teeth in this picture, but I don't know if they have toothpaste in Russia. Um, she wants to move to America to be a, uh, a waitress, but she needs someone to stay with, and she needs a nice kind man to show her around city, um, which is me, I guess. Um, so I replied, thinking it was a joke. I even said in my reply, like, haha, that's the funniest thing I've ever read. Uh, my name is Scott, I study English. Um, kind of like, what's your deal? And uh, she replied with like two or three pages and like six pictures of herself. Not like bikini pictures, not like anything like scandalous, just regular pictures. She's, she's pretty, she's pretty. The weird thing is, I don't think it's a scam in the sense that she's trying to like trick me or anything. If everything goes well, you're welcome to stay in my apartment in Champaign. I really think she's trying to like settle down and get like a real husband, like a, uh, like not, not, not as a trick. She just thinks she can like marry into like citizenship and the American dream and all this. Also, I'm a college student with very little money. All I can do is give you a temporary place to stay and get you familiar with America. Um, and honestly, part of me wants to marry her just for the novelty of it. I think it'd be hilarious. <laughs> Scott, hello. I decided to send you more info about me. It is my first time I try to correspondence with man in internet world. So I guess things progressed and we sent each other a few more emails back and forth. Scott, dear, I'm so excited to write you again. I'm in Moscow. You can't imagine how happy I am because I am on the way. Frankly, I don't know if I'm just a stupid college Barack Obama voting idealist. Which I'm likely. I thought I didn't vote for Barack Obama. I didn't vote at all, let's be honest. Well, you know what I mean, like a yuppie. Like I drive a Volkswagen and drink Starbucks. And I adopt a Russian girl named Svetlana. And maybe, maybe she'll be great. Maybe she'll be a, maybe she'll be a, a great cook. I mean, she said she's a professional chef. Maybe she'll like want to clean for us and stuff. Um, or maybe we'll just be really good friends with her, and feel really good about ourselves. Um, hopefully, something good comes out of it. If I get swindled, I'm gonna be really pissed. I'm probably actually gonna get swindled. She's gonna get my credit card number, max it out. She, she was going to send me her bust waist hips measurements. I have no idea why. But if not, I will have a 25-year-old, pretty attractive Russian girl living in my apartment. And I'm going to make her cook for me if she comes. I'm, I'm scared. I'm scared that I'm going to like be had and like everyone's going to know and it's going to be some big joke. Like, oh, ha, ha, Scott thought this Russian girl named Svetlana was going to come stay with him and it was going to be like normal and he was going to like do something. And, uh... My roommate Jerry is not totally sold on the idea. I think Scott makes a lot of terrible life decisions. Um, this could be one of them. My roommate's not totally for the idea. Some people are going to call me crazy, um, which I might be. Um, we have an extra room though. I'm a stupid denot writer, right? So on the off chance that she should come, um, I guess she'd be living here. But uh, I don't know, it's an okay room. It's probably better than Russia. I actually sent her, this is kind of embarrassing, I actually sent her um, two pictures of myself because she asked for them. And I, at this point I still thought it was a joke, I thought it was funny. 
So I sent her two pictures of myself. I don't have a lot of pictures of myself. But uh, she responded with, I do not care what the men look like. I do not care color of his eyes. So that was kind of insulting. I don't think I'm up to the Russian Svetlana standard of um, male attractiveness. You've seen her picture. If you had the opportunity, would you, uh, would you engage in any sort of physical relations with her? Mm, no. What would my parents think? They disown me. They, my parents would never do this. Take notes, Svetlana. I know about your country. I do perfect Russian accent. That's literally all I know about Russia, is that they drink vodka, they eat potatoes, and that we beat them in the space race. They drink a lot of vodka. Yeah, yeah. they drink a lot of vodka. I bet she can drink me under the table. Oh, I hope so. She'd drink me under the table. And she'd probably want to arm wrestle or something. She'd kick my ass. <laughs> I'd throw her out. She'd get out, Svetlana. <laughs> uh, I pay for your, I pay for your fucking rent. Get the fuck out of here. I'd probably take it back the next day. Yeah, well, me and me and Svetlana are gonna be buds for sure. The Russians are coming. Yes. <laughs>